Boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Backlash preview. <laughs> this car is kind of like, yeah, really. I have a suspicion. I know the result, and the result's not good. First match, we have Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English. Aiden English getting pushed on his own as a singles wrestler with the departure of Simon Gotch and the ending to Von Velens. The perfect 10, Ty Dillinger, making his main roster debut a few months ago, or a few weeks ago. Um, I got Ty Dillinger winning. Next, we have a rematch between Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Yeah, okay. I like Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, it's whatever. This match is whatever. Uh, Luke Harper wins. Next, we have Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. Uh, the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin. I see where WWE wants to do something with this guy. He does have some talent. I'm just not sold on him yet with the talent that's on this roster. I know there's talk of him winning Money in the Bank this year, which I will be attending. Um, so we'll see what, where it goes with him. Uh, Sami Zayn, just so much talent, and WWE doesn't really want to let him loose, I guess. He should be a champion to me. Um, if you were smart, you could treat Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens like you did, like Christian and Edge was. Go back to that era and you had Edge running, running WWE basically as champion. You had Christian over in, over in TNA as champion and running the place. You could have Sami Zayn as Intercontinental Champion and running Raw. Have Kevin Owens as U.S. Champion running SmackDown. I mean, or running that era part of the show. So I mean, he's as good as Kevin Owens to me. WWE just got to believe in him. But I do have him winning here. Corbin will end up probably win it, but I want Sami Zayn to win that. We have a six-woman tag match. We have the Welcoming Committee, Natalia, Carmella, and Tamina. Versus Naomi, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Each team has somebody who came over in the Superstar Shakeup. So this match makes no fucking point. Have your goddamn women's title on the line. Oh wait, if you have Naomi lose to Charlotte for the women's title, you're copying off Raw because Alexa Bliss, during the brand, the Superstar Shakeup, went to Raw and won the women's title. But you don't need to make a six-pack challenge out of it. Come on. Put the freaking women's title on the line. This is retarded. I got the welcoming committee winning. Because I think Charlotte ended up walking out of Becky Lynch and Naomi. Next, we have a lot of build-up for a lot of nothing, really. We have Shinsuke Nakamura making his SmackDown main roster debut versus Dolph Ziggler. A lot of hype for Shinsuke making this main roster debut. I could see it if it was in a world title match or a title match, but it's versus Dolph Ziggler, which, don't get me wrong, it'll be the second best match on the card. Um, could be the best match on the card, but I'm pretty sure it'll be second best. And when I get to the other one, you'll know why. Um, but you got to like the strong style, the Shinsuke Nakamura style of wrestling to really want to see this match. If you think his flamboyantness and the way he, you know, Teases guys in the ring. If you don't like that, you're probably not going to like Shinsuke's matches if you haven't seen him in NXT. But I got Shinsuke winning this with all the hype. There's no reason he won't. Uh, next, we have the SmackDown Tag Titles on the line. We have Champion Usos versus Breezango, Tyler Breeze and Fandango, the Fashion Police, whatever you want to call them. Hope to God they don't put the titles on them. Um, I got the Usos retaining. I think America now will fuck them out at the end. And uh, they need to be taken champions. Um, then we have what will be the best match of the night. We have the United States title line. We have the face of America. Kevin Owens versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. Yeah, we have this match. This is just going to be, yeah, baby. Cannot wait for this match. Um, whew. AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, and WWE. <laughs> So yeah, this match will be phenomenal. Um, I think the face of America, Kevin Owens, will retain the title. Win or lose, this is can be one of the best matches in Backlash history. Um, then our main event. Motherfucker. Motherfucker, why? 
WWE Power and we have champion the legend killer, the Viper, Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal with the Sin Brothers. Just because WWE is doing something in India and doing a show of some sort or they have a good rapport with Indian fans and the India fans, we're pushing Jinder Mahal. Vince sees something in him. Vince, Vince, Vince. Walk away. Walk away, Vince. Please. Just let Triple H run the place. NXT's phenomenal. The United Kingdom tournament was phenomenal. Cruiserweight Classic was phenomenal. You're letting Trip do the stuff that's turning out to be good. Yeah, Trip has made some mistakes, we all know, but you know, hey, he's learned how to run a wrestling company. But come on, Vince. Damn, dude. Um, I'm predicting Jinder Mahal, WWE World Champion. Um, we've seen in these vignettes on SmackDown that Rusev won't return until he gets a world title match at Money in the Bank, which is the next SmackDown exclusive network special that I will be attending in St. Louis. Have an eerie suspicion that we'll have Jinder Mahal versus Rusev for the WWE World Title. Yeah, I just said that. Um, I hope I hope I'm wrong. I'm hope I'm wrong. Probably have a Shinsuke Nakamura and or Baron Corbin winning Money in the Bank. Doesn't make it any better. Um, when you have a roster that involves. Shinsuke Nakamura, Dolph Ziggler, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. And you want Jinder Mahal as your world champion? Dear God, why? The wrap up. 2017 Backlash Smackdown Exclusive Network Special Review. As always, thanks for watching our sports show and stay tuned for the review. Hopefully the results aren't what I think they are. So just have a great night. Have a spiffy night. Robert Sports Show. Your YouTube leader sports channel content.